Hey guys, it's Brittany Blake and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do my Japan haul, which I have been dying to do. One, because I want to show everything I got, and two, because I don't want to leave it sitting here in a suitcase for very much longer because I want to put everything out and in my closet and on my shelves. So, as you guys know, I went to Japan for a week with my boyfriend Steve and I had every intention of doing a lot of shopping, especially clothes and figures. Um, and I kind of thought I would do more shopping in Tokyo. We did some shopping in Tokyo, but the majority of it was actually done in Osaka. When we left for Japan, we packed two suitcases, technically one suitcase. We packed a small suitcase and we put it inside of a large suitcase and figured we would fill that. When we left Tokyo, we still had just the one suitcase packed the brim inside the empty one. So. Um, yeah, so now we have a whole giant suitcase filled with stuff that we bought. Um, I'm only going to show the things that I bought for myself. Um, he didn't really get too much for himself and we did get a, a good amount of souvenirs for family and friends. So we actually gave most of those out so I don't really have any of those really to show you anyway. But um, we're going to jump right in. This is not really going to have a rhyme or reason. Um, some of these are inside the store bags, but when we were trying to condense stuff, a lot of them kind of got mixed up. So if I remember where I got it, I will let you know. And if not, oh well. So we're just going to jump right in. You can see this ma massive suitcase is like this big, completely filled with clothes and figures and all that stuff. So I had a list going in of uh, stores I wanted to check out. and. There's only maybe like a couple pieces of clothes I was looking for and a couple figures I was looking for. And I think I'm actually gonna start off with the figure. This was on my, it was on one of our last days. We got it in Osaka, we went to Mandarake. And I don't know if you guys know what this is, um, but this was one of the things I was looking for. And I'm so glad I found it. It was like, one of the last shelves I looked at. So there were three things I was looking for when I went to Japan. One was I wanted specifically the Persona 3 protagonist figure. I wanted the Sailor Moon Compact for a reasonable price because right now I've only ever seen it for like crazy expensive. And the third was from Akiba Rangers uh, and it's the Moe Moe Zuikun Morpher figure. So you guys have not heard of the Kiba Ranger. It's basically like Power Rangers, but like the unofficial Power Rangers. And this is how you morph. So, it's this is the figure. And it turns into a gun. As you can see, it's a, it's a scale, it's a one-to-one -one scale figure. And then you just Figure out to turn her, and then she turns into the gun. Um, when they sold this, it was this was a used um, figure, but it came in a box. It took the batteries out of it, but this does make sound effects. And I only got I got it for only like 50 bucks, which is insane because all the ones online are like 120 and up. So the fact that this came in basically mint condition in a box was amazing. I'm so glad I found this. I was like, this was I was. Um, I'm just so excited that I found this. This is like my favorite thing ever. Next, we're going to just dive into this little bag. Um, I got this little sleepy Espeon. Espeon is my favorite of the evolutions and I saw a bunch of these and I just finally caved and I got one. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I just think it's adorable. It's like a little squishy beanie baby feel to it. Oh, I went to the Sailor Moon store in Harajuku and I got some of those face masks. We were wearing the masks, I just didn't wear these because they were all packed away. I got this on like our first day, so it was kind of packed away in the suitcase for a while. But these are cool. There's a bag in the bag, which is, oh, I got this from Anime. It's just a little Persona um, hand sanitizer and it clips on. And I like this one because it's Persona and if it ever runs out, I can always refill it. I got so much Persona stuff, you're gonna, you're gonna see a theme going on here. I think a lot of this is actually like my Gachapon hauls. What is this? I think that's a free gift they gave me. I'm not sure. But um, this was one of the contacts I got out of the Gachapon at the Sailor Moon store. It's just a little 
mirror and this actually pops up so you can like put stuff in there and then I got this uh, dugong little uh, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be it's like a little ice cream cup and then flowers and then you put the Pokemon in there I got this persona pen uh, it says clean on it because you know I love Makoto basically I had to keep choosing between like Makoto and Futaba merch and it was like the most difficult thing ever this was another gachapon this was a love live uh, gachapon and it's a little halloween themed i thought it was really cute it's got the little hanamaru on here i got from k books this little maki keychain from Rumpa. this is more sailor moon stuff um these are like the little like bookmarks uh like post-it kind of bookmarks i want to use them but i also don't want to use them because i don't want them to run out but i love this it has all the inner senshi and then tuxedo mask these were um gifts from the world ends with you cafe if you ordered a drink you got a uh, coaster so we have one with basically the heroes and one with the villains on them they're like classic so they're really good um coasters i might give one as a gift to my brother but I kind of like the idea of having to. I got him a lot of gifts, so we'll see. I got this from the Sailor Moon store. This is a 2018 uh, Halloween edition of... It's, it's a little acrylic keychain with Luna, little pumpkins. I loved all the Halloween stuff they had. Um, this is another Gachapon from Sailor Moon with Sailor Venus's wand. So, uh, hi Danny, you'll be getting this because you're obviously Sailor Venus. What is this? Oh, another... More Gachapon. I think all I think all of the Gachapon stuff I got is in this bag, but this was just something from the World Ends With You Cafe. This was a little magnet I got from the Fushimi Inari Shrine. It's just, it's the gate with the little um, fox. I think it's supposed to be a fox in here. And just a magnet for our fridge. I think this one was a free gift from maybe the Sailor Moon store because I have no idea where this came from and I this is the first time I'm seeing it it's like a little keychain I guess you can put it on like a zipper but one I don't remember seeing this and two it also says Chibi Moon and I'm not a big Chibi Moon fan so I don't know why I would have gotten it and I don't remember this being in a Gatchapon but it's in the bag so I guess I got it when I uh, got the Sailor Moon store stuff this is another present I got my brother so many little knickknacks. Like, he's, he's gonna be set. He asked me for like two things, and I couldn't find the one thing, but I got a bunch of other little stuff. Um, I picked up a lot of washi tape on here from a. This one was from the Sailor Moon store. It's, it's just black washi tape um, with it says Sailor Moon. It has all the little logos and like pastels. It reminded me of those. Um, remember like the Milky gel pens? It reminded me of that because it's just black and it has like pastel writing on it. And then these ones were from the Pokemon store, a Pokemon Center, and it's all Pikachu and Eevee. They had so much Pikachu and Eevee stuff, like I had to force myself not to buy it because Eevee is one of my favorites. I mean, Pikachu's cool too, but Eevee is like my fave. Else, this wig I actually got at Don Quixote when we were in Osaka. In the Halloween section, they had a whole like Halloween section, and then there was like this cart of wigs that were on sale. I forget the brand because when I packed this, I took it out of the box um, to make room in the suitcase. But this was only a thousand yen, which is about like between eight and nine dollars American. And I tried it on. I like it. It's very short, but I, it's just been packaged for so long that I need to like quickly straighten it because a lot of the ends are just kind of all over the place. But for ten dollars. Like, this is really nice. It's heat resistant. It has, like, a mix of different pinks. Um, it wasn't, it's not thin. I mean, it's short, but I, I picked the short style. They had longer wigs, but I just, I was like, I don't have any short pink wigs. So, I got this one. Um, but, yeah, I get for $10. I honestly probably should have gotten more wigs, but, you know, we're probably going to go back. So, that'll be a, a good time to get more wigs. I got these hair pants when we were in Harajuku, I believe. Um, I forget what store we got these at, but I remember I saw these at a shop and I passed on them. And then I saw them in another shop for like half the price for the same exact pair of pants. And so I got them. 
Oh, I got these at ACDC, which is conveniently on the tag. So they're a little on the thin side, like I can see kind of right through them. So I'll probably wear like leggings or stockings under these because the black part is kind of see-through, but these are also really cute. But yeah, I got a ton of other clothes, so there's going to be a lot of clothes in this haul. This is just the first of many pieces to come. Just because these are on top, I'm going to do these next. We, we went to Universal on like our last day. Um, so you've got this Jaws like sweatshirt, and then I got this um, Universal hoodie. And we kind of like have agreed to share these. So they're both in like a size large, so we can be comfortable and warm and yeah so these are our only two like actually they're not our only two universal purchases i'm gonna have to get the other one don't know how i can talk about universal and forget that i have this wand so for those of you that don't know um i believe they do it at all the universals that have harry potter there's an olivander store and they bring people in in groups of like i don't know like 10 or 15 or 20 i don't really remember how many were in there but they choose one person as like the wizard um and they do the whole scene from like harry potter where they kind of try to find the wand that's meant for you and i got picked as the wizard and so i did the whole thing see so if i actually got it on video so if i can like put a little clip over here i will so um yeah i don't know if it's gonna be here or not but uh so this is actually the wand that was picked for me originally i wanted to get i think it's narcissa Mal uh yeah her draco's mom her wand originally i wanted that because it's really cool and black and studded and then when this wand was picked for me i was like i need to get it the only downfall is like even though that they picked you and they picked this wand for you you don't get it for free you don't get any kind of discount they just either make you buy it or take it back so this wand is made of ash and this is what it looks like. I mean, I do really like it. Um, you know, this is something that I would like have picked if I wasn't picking like a, a character wand. Um, and it is the one that you can actually like do stuff around Universal. I only did one in particular. They do give you like this map with all the places in Hogsmeade that you can go and like use the wand. Um, but I didn't. I didn't do all that. But this is really cool. I thought it was really cool that they gave, well, they didn't give me, but that was really cool that I got picked. And this is the wand that was chosen for me. Um, also, like, how the, the box is supposed to be, like, all, like, ashy and dirty. That was really cool. But that's all I really got in Universal. Like, Universal was pretty expensive. Like, that was an expensive day. But it was worth it. Like, I just couldn't imagine going all the time. Like, it was definitely good to go once and then probably again, like, several years from now <laughs> the last time actually the last time i went to universal was in florida for my high school senior trip which is going on 10 years now so <laughs> that's how long it's been since i've been there last and when i was there last time harry potter world wasn't a thing yet they had all the like gates and walls around it saying coming soon and by the time my brother went a couple years later it had opened what is in this bag Ooh, okay so this is from Regulus. This was on our one of our last days. It was in Osaka, and it is one of my favorite stores. They had so many different brands. A lot of them were more on the pricey side, but they had like some cheaper brands too. I actually got this Danganronpa uh, Listen Flavor collab sweatshirt while I was there. It was the last one. I did see this when I went to Listen Flavor in Harajuku, and just for some reason I didn't get it. Um, but when I went to Regulus, I guess also because my first day in uh, Harajuku was like our first full day in Tokyo and I guess in my head I didn't want to like go too crazy but then when we got to Osaka and I realized how much of my like money that was set aside for spending was left over, I was like well it's here, it's fate. So I got this, it's super comfy, it's like a one size oversized sweatshirt, um, I love it, it's so comfy and I also got um, this like jacket cardigan let's see is there a brand for this i feel like i know the brand for this 
Okay, so it says on the tag, Drug Honey. I've actually never heard of that brand before, but it's like this really cool, like tattered, um, and they have it across the back too. I was so, uh, I was so unsure of if I should get the black and white one or the black on black, but I was like, you know what? I can make black and white work. I have some like black and white pieces I can incorporate with it. So those are the two pieces I got from Regulus. And like I said, that was one of my favorite stores that I went to. I really wanted to buy more, but I just, I just didn't. Oh, so one of the Don Quixote purchases that I got was this Yukata. It's like this black with pastel flowers on it. And I really wanted to get a Yukata if I could find like, I mean, I didn't want to spend a, a ton of money on this. Um, this ended up being about 3,900 yen, which is a little, somewhere between 35 and $40 American. So it wasn't too bad. Um, it feels a little canvassy, but like, again, I don't plan on wearing this out and about regularly. I just really wanted to have a Japanese yukata. So, and the nice thing about this is like, things like the bow are already pre-tied and they just clip on. So it's really easy and convenient but I can't wait to try this on. Maybe I'll post pictures later. I don't know, maybe if you guys wanna see a try on of all the stuff I got, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll give a try on a try. This is another uh, Don Quixote purchase. Um, this is Halloween themed. It's like a travel bag. Yeah, man, it's just a super convenient little travel bag. I don't know if it's meant to be like double-sided or what, but I didn't realize it unfold it this much, but this is really cool. It's like a little tote bag. And I think this is only like eight bucks. Yeah, $7.98. So probably between like seven and eight dollars American. And then when you don't want the bag, you can just fold it right back up. Didn't think it was gonna fold back up this easily. Usually if I unfold something, it's stuck like that forever. So this was a cool little travel bag. I'm always looking for more tote bags. Man, I've been avoiding these closet child bags and I think I should just like get right into them. But actually, just because this is on top for some reason, uh, again, another Persona purchase is this Persona 5 Futaba glasses case. And it came with this cute little Futaba like glasses wipe. I love this. I should use my glasses case more often. I just don't. I used to have in my old car, like a, like a, a convenient like space for my glasses holder and my most recent car does not so i just kind of wear them all the time and then put them on like my nightstand at night um this is so soft and velvety this is just great but i thought this was really cool like you never see stuff like this like i try really hard not to get everything especially if it's something you can get at a con but this was really cool and interesting and i'm glad i got this plus futaba wears glasses so that just made it even better. I know I said I was gonna do the closet try out stuff, but I have another bag of stuff I wanna get to first. So I think a lot of these were from Mandarake. You know what, this one might not have been Mandarake. Um, do I have on here where I got it? So I'm honestly not 100% sure. This might've been Mandarake but I really don't know. I think this was when I was in Dendon Town. No. Okay, no, I lied. These were from Andorake. This other one, I'm not really sure. So these are these little Love Live figures. Um, and they just sit on these steps. So I thought it'd be cute to display these in front of all my other Love Live figures. And these were only like 300 yen each, so I got three figures for under a thousand yen. So like all three of these were less than ten dollars. So I thought that was really cool. I have, yeah. We'll display them later. Actually, I'll pull them all out now because what's the point of a haul video? I'm not actually gonna show you everything. But I mean, I'm not gonna pull all the stairs out because they all look the same, but. I just thought that was really cute. All of like the main three chicks. Um, yeah, I think they're really cute. They had one other one, but she was a little messed up. I honestly don't even remember which one that fourth one was, but I just remember she 
had like an arm missing. I don't know, there's something up with her, so I didn't get her. But I felt kind of bad because there was only four of them and I only bought three, but hey man. This is Persona 4 protagonist and I don't remember exactly where I bought him, just that he was under $20. But yeah, uh, I mean, obviously I love Persona and if I, I try not to go overboard with like getting duplicate characters unless it's like Yukiko. Um, that may change in the future with however many like Futabas or Makotos come out. Uh, all of these figures were like used. Like I had, I don't think I, I bought a single new figure, um, which I'm fine with. I don't have a problem with secondhand stuff because I don't really care about keeping the box. I know some people like, like keeping everything in the box or keeping the box, but it's not really a big deal to me. Again, these, I don't remember where I got them. Might have been Jungle, might have been Vokes. These were, here we go, does, this, does it say where this is from? If this was all in Hiragana, we'd be set, but there's kanji on here and I, I can't do kanji, sorry. I don't know, I tried. This might have been Vokes, because the price seems right. So these actually might have been Vokes, because I just found the receipt and it says it was like 2,900 yen, which is basically what I spent on these. So these were all about a thousand yen, so about ten dollars each. Um, I got two monkeys from Love Live and another Homura from Madoka Magica. And yeah, again, these are all loose. Um, I'm totally fine. Like, I was so happy that I was finding loose figures for like ten dollars because at a con, even if these were like out of the box, I feel like they would still try to charge you like thirty or forty dollars. So honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy figures in America again after this because literally I have what so far? Four, five, well four like anime figures for like under $50 and then another like scale figure morpher for 50, like that is insane. And then these are, this is just uh, a Persona 5 like um, face towel, which I could not pass up. It has all their masks on it, and it was 300 yen, so, like, obviously had to get it. They had a couple other ones, like, on here it says there was a couple other ones, but I didn't see them, because I would have loved to get the plaid one. This one might have been from Sega. Honestly, I forget. I'm, I'm, I could be making it up. I've been holding off on these. We may as well jump right in. So if you guys don't know, I'm a big fan of Japanese fashion. Um, I got really into it like after high school when I started going to conventions and I saw the Japanese fashion shows. I think my first one was Hangry and Angry. And after that year, I applied to do modeling for them. And basically every time they were in the area, I'd, I'd work for them for New York Comic Con, Anime Next. I think I did Otakon a year. Um, but like, I worked for Itanato, Hangry and Angry, Graham, uh, who else have I worked for, um, Alice and the Pirates, I'm blanking, I think I worked for Mint, so huge fan of like J fashion and Harajuku fashion, so I know how expensive they can get, like every time they would come to a convention, I would allow myself like one piece because like a t-shirt is insane if you want like a tunic which is usually what i would go for they're like anywhere from like 70 to 150 dollars which is like that's it that's my whole spending budget so when i went to japan i was like well i'm gonna go to closet child i heard that they're like a secondhand thrift store for like the name brand uh japanese stuff they have everything from visual k to alita and kind of everything in between that now I go for more of the visual K stuff, but every now and again I'll find something a little cutesy. But like I wish I could pull a Lolita, but like just not does not work with me. So I was like mind blown by how much stuff that I got for insanely cheap. I went to three different um, closet trials. The first one was in Harajuku, the second one was in Shinjuku, and the third one was in Osaka. I bought stuff at the Shinjuku and the Osaka locations, I'm sorry, I, at the Harajuku and the, Sh and the Osaka locations. I did not buy anything at the Shinjuku one. I heard there were two in Shinjuku, but I only went to one of them. 
I didn't find anything there, but this one is, it looks like the, um, oh, it looks like the, the stuff I got from Osaka. Yeah, playing for a second. So, you know I love plaid. You, you know, it's just, it's, I can't, I can't not. So, I don't think this one, does this have a brand? M... VD or MAD, I don't, I don't know, but these are plaid bell-bottom pants with like the butt flap and the um, straps, and these were like, I want to say they were under $10, they're in it, they are in a medium, so they might be a little big on me, but like, I know Japanese sizing is a little off, so these might fit, I honestly haven't tried these on yet, I just wanted to get them because I know that if they're a little big, I can just take in the sides, like it's, or wear a belt. I'd probably just rather take them in because I feel like when you try to wear a belt, it just bunches everything up and it's not a good look. But maybe I'll try these on for you guys later, but these are just so comfortable and they're plaid. And they have pockets, like actual pockets. American Girl pants have fake pockets and I'm not a fan of that. So, love these. Sticking with the plaid themed, they had this like, oh, it's the same brand, that, that's, that makes sense. Um, I believe this is all one size, and it's like this, like, pea coat looking trench coat, uh, thing with the belt and the zipper, and it's just, it's just lovely. I just want to wear this with, like, a black mini dress and some boots, and, uh, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be an obnoxious holiday season, like, let me tell you. Again, this was, like, under $10, I think this one was, like, 8 because when I went to Osaka, I think I spent, it was like 40 some, or 40 some hundred, like, it was somewhere between like 4,500 and 5,000 yen, which is between like 40 and 50 bucks American, and that is insane for the amount of stuff that I got, especially like full outfits. So those are just two of the pieces I got there. I also got this little, is this the shrug? This might be the shrug. Or the uh, little cardigan thing. This is at H. Nalto Blood. And it's a little on the frilly Lolita side, but because it's like gothic Lolita, I can pull this off a little bit better. But it's just like this little shrug. It has the Nacho logos on it and like some phrases, which I don't even think are in English. I think they're in like Latin or something. But this was like $5. This is, I think this actually may have been $3, but I will find plenty of uses for this. This is another in H Nacho, H Anarchy. Um, H Anarchy Plus. Yeah, it's like this, it's not really like a two piece, like this top piece is attached, so it's all one piece, but it's like just this top with these chains. Um, they got the zipper and buttons going on. I think this would be really cute to pair with, like, maybe, I don't even know, this, this can go in so many different ways. I could pair this with a skirt or some leggings. Like, I don't want to go too, too baggy. Like, this is kind of a baggy top. I don't want to do all baggy stuff but yeah again between like three and five dollars insane the last piece from closet child in osaka is this like turtleneck strappy what brand is this i don't even know if i have the brand on here but it's like this sleeveless um turtleneck but the sleeves are attached with these like straps and i love this this is so cute Again, like three dollars, insane. Like all the like the tops were between like three and five dollars, and then the pants and the jacket were the most expensive, and even those were like under ten dollars. I wish I could see the brand on this though. Here we go. Uh, Peace now. Okay, I actually don't own any Peace now items, so that's pretty cool. I really wanted to get a Ghost in Harlem piece, but all the Ghost in Harlem stuff that I saw, I really wasn't into. Um, that's all of that. We're making a dent. I lied, we're not making a dent. So I have the pieces that I got at the Closet Child in uh, Harajuku. I actually ended up wearing this while we were there. I believe this is a six piece. I mean, it looks like six. It looks like, oh, yep, right here, it's six. It looks like all the other pieces I have from them with that like uh, black and silver design on it. And it's like this, um, like hoodie vest thing going on with the double zipper 
Um, I wore another like tank top underneath, but you could like layer this over anything really. I, I suggest you layer it because like the whole back is open and you know, I mean, unless you don't really have to layer it, I layered it. And again, pockets, great, wonderful thing in this world. But yeah, love this, super cute. Again, really cheap. I think that was like $12 from the one in Harajuku. The Sex Pot Revenge, um, like hoodie, parka thing. I have another jacket from them, which I love. It's one of my favorite jackets. And it, their jackets are just so warm. Yeah, man, they're just such like good quality stuff. I think their jackets are between like 120 to 150. They might actually be more than that now. So the fact that I got this for like 20 bucks, and like I said, this looks brand new. Like I would, if, I would never know this was a used piece. Again, pockets, um, and then like they have like their big skull in the back, which they do with a lot of their stuff. But love this. I'm glad I got another winter jacket. It's starting to get chilly outside. It like went right from like summer to winter, and there's like no fall in between right now. What is this? Oh, and we went to when we went to the Pokemon Cafe in. Uh, I always forget if it's like Chiodo or Minato, whatever is like right near Tokyo Station. We went to the Pokemon's Cafe near Tokyo Station and we got these with our um, meals. We got a little Flareon, a Vaporeon. They basically let us, they, they, we picked them at random um, and this, these are the ones that we got. Ooh. Okay, so I went to both Sex Pot Revenge doors and Harajuku and Osaka and I ended up getting this one at the one in Osaka. It ended up being on, oh, it was on sale. It was just the cheaper of the two items. Like there was two pieces that I liked and this one ended up being the cheaper one. I just thought like it's like this off the shoulder top with the chains. I just love this. And I don't think I have, I don't have a lot of purple in my closet, which is another reason why I went for it. I was like, you know, what are the whole purple and blue thing? And um, yeah, I just thought this was super cute. Oh, and they have these like little like flared arms, which I think are super cute too. We're, we're getting there. I can actually see like a whole half of our uh, suitcase. I think there's only like two more things after, or like two more bags after this. So this is another piece that me and my boyfriend got to share, mainly because it was expensive. Like originally we wanted to buy a bunch of these, but um, we wanted to get like a bunch of these for like our family and friends, but again, really expensive. So the brand is called Fighting Laundry. And it's this hoodie with this little like lucha mask on it and the back is a bunch of like little luchadors. Um, but again, everything was super expensive. I wanted to get like a t-shirt, like the t-shirts were like $45, $50. I think this hoodie was like 70 bucks, but we, we, we kind of like figured, okay, like we'll share it. So if you split that in half, like we have this weird like shopping logic but it works but we'll, we'll probably share this since he steals all of my hoodies anyway all my wrestling hoodies but it's just cute little like luchador stuff on the inside i love this i think it's super cute and i need to hide this from him so he doesn't steal it all the time i actually like need to translate these because we got these um oh my god i'm blanking on the name i forget are they called like Onkujis? Onkujis? I don't remember. But we got these outside of the um, Inari Fushimi Shrine. And it was, these were like tied up and you just put like 100 yen and you pull one out. And uh, we, so we, we might have brought bad luck back with us because we never translated these. So maybe we should translate these today. We made it to the last bag. There may be bags inside of this bag, but we are on to the last bag. Oh, I got this. It's a messenger bag from the Love Unto Do Cafe. I think they're super convenient for when you're on the go or like the beach or something like that. Um, it says time limit within seven days. This is just, again, just an exclusive from the cafe. I wanted other stuff, but like, again, kind of on the pricey side, but I'm just happy with this. Like I'll, I'll use this. Ooh, I got these um, from the Sailor Moon store. They are like these pink and black um, pajamas with all of like the Sailor Moon 
like all of the Sailor Scouts, uh, their wands and the compact. Oh, those are really cute. I'm so glad we're getting to the end of this. Like, I don't realize how much stuff we got, but like the crazy thing is we still didn't spend nearly as much as we thought we would. Like I didn't actually once have to go to my credit cards. I just spent what I had intended on spending. This is a little bag from the Pokemon Center. This is one of the Halloween exclusives. I thought this would be really cute. Maybe like a makeup bag or something. Um, I don't know, I can throw some stuff in here, maybe make this a travel bag. Um, I got some Pokemon chopsticks. Um, I might actually start wearing chopsticks in my hair again. I used to rock chopsticks in the hair all the time. And I might I might try to bring it back. We'll see. We'll see how like 90s, early 2000s rustic I want to get. These are just some stickers of, I think they're all the ghost Pokemon from uh, the Pokemon Center again. We went to so many of the Pokemon Center, so I don't know which ones came from which Pokemon Centers. I got this bag from Pink Latte. I've seen a bunch of these like online, like, um, like I want to say they're all bootleg. I'm sure some of them, like this might not even be the original, but I thought this was really cute. It says future girls start continue. Looks like an old school Game Boy. And I opted for the purple one. They had a black and pink one, but I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone with all the black and do more purple. Like obviously there's this um, sweatshirt. The sex pot revenge has the purple on it. Even like the Yukata has like purple on it. So I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and do more purple. But I love this, again, super small, convenient bag on the go. I got this washcloth from Don Quixote. It has all of the grass Pokemon on it. I was so torn between this and the fire types because I always go between uh, grass and fire whenever I'm choosing my starters. It's pretty like down the middle. I don't think I ever started with the water Pokemon except in when I had um, red and blue, I actually think I started blue with Squirtle, I think. I could be wrong, but um, yep, love grass Pokemon, and this might actually go in our kitchen, we'll see. Another souvenir, man Sam, I hooked you up, you don't even watch my YouTube videos, and I got you some sweet, sweet merch. Uh, this is a Sailor Moon notebook that I got from the Sailor Moon store. I'm just like obsessed with stationery, and like I feel like I don't actually use them because I'm afraid to use them and then they're wasted and then I I have so much stationery that I don't write in because I just want to keep it the way it is but I love this I had to get one of them they had a couple different versions but this is the only one that I got these are some persona like post-its um, again I'll probably give I'll probably give a pack to my brother just because he loves persona as well and I don't need all of these post-its so he might just get the one with Joker and a catchy I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll give him another one. But this one's mine, with Futaba and Makoto, like, this is mine. I got these Pikachu and Eevee snacks. They just kind of taste like little, like little crackers, which I'm totally cool with, I love crackers. Um, I don't know if these are still good. I, had, like, I opened a pack while we were there, and not so good. You know what they taste like? You guys remember, like, I, they, still, they still exist, but like, the whales, like like the knockoff versions of goldfish, they taste like the whales, and I'm kind of okay with it. Oh my god, this is the last thing. This might be the last thing. I think this is the last thing, and if it's not, too bad. So I got this phone case holder, um, and the only reason I got this one instead of another one, because I, ha I saw Persona ones, but like I didn't know if my phone would fit, and they actually were nice enough to take this out of the package for me to see if my phone fit in here but it's this pikachu wearing the eevee i guess like an eevee kigu kind of thing but this is super convenient because you can slide like your license and your card in here yeah man that's gonna be that's gonna be really cute and it fits with my phone case on it so it's like double protection so that'll be really cute plus i also have like uh, persona as my like phone background. I don't know if you can see that. So it's, you know, I don't need persona on my persona. I can have persona on my Pokemon. It's really cute because the inside has a bunch of like Pokemon engraved in here. Yeah, I'm so excited for the new game to come out in two weeks. This might actually be out that week. We'll see. It might be out, it might be out the week after depending on 
how fast I get these uploaded. Whew. I can't believe we got through everything. This is gonna be such a long video, and if you made it to this point, congratulations. I think you earned like a, like a snack and a drink. You might wanna, I should have said beforehand to get like a snack and a drink because I did a lot of spending. But I'm so glad I love everything that I got. I don't have any regrets at all. I'm so looking forward to going back and doing more shopping. Like, the only, I guess the only regret that I have is I didn't buy any like um, beauty products because when we went to like Don Quixote, it was just so overwhelming that I'm like, you know what? We'll do it later. And then later never came. But like, it's not a big deal because I didn't go there looking for anything in particular. So, like I said, that is everything. If you guys had a favorite item of, of mine that I purchased, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about shopping in Japan or what shops, if, if I missed something, um, again, you can let me know in the comments. I think in my last video is gonna be the one where I talk about where we went. So I'll have like a more in-depth list of where I went shopping. So yeah, I think that covers just about everything. This was so much fun. If you guys want me to do any try-on videos or any follow-up videos for this, let me know. And I will try to accommodate the best that I can. And I will see you guys in the next video.